Hey everybody, Arnold Wofferman here. And I know that a lot of my YouTube videos, you guys always ask about the fish. So since I have already, I uh, just did water change and stuff, I figure I'll show you a little bit what's going on. I'm gonna turn off the lights so you can see the tanks in their full glory. The first one is the crab tank, which is getting redone uh, to a 20 gallon. There's a divider there. Uh, there's Bill Clausby. And these are basically fiddler crabs and there's a few red claw crabs in there too. Very simple layout, and you can actually see it's all glass. All my tanks use glass just to keep everything in, uh, and then it can switch between the regular white and the blue lights. I'll show you what the blue lights look like. There we go. So I hardly ever use that, but I also have this set on a remote control or manually. The 55 gallon is obviously one of my favorites. And there's a whole bunch of random fish in there. We've got some quarries. Uh, we've got the peppered quarries, albino. I've got green. I've got panda quarries. Uh, we've got the glowfish. We have the, uh, oh, I forgot what those guys are called right there, uh, the tetras. Uh, we have, well, the uh, tiger bars, which are dicks because they keep eating all my plants, multiple snails, danios, and seven of the glass catfish. And this is a planted one. You can see there's a lot of live plants and everything in there. And I'm gonna turn this off for just a second. I do a remote control. I custom made a control. I'll show you just a second. I can change the colors. I don't like changing them frequently because it messes with the fish, but I do have a slow RGB and they don't seem to freak out too much to that. So there's that. Let me show you how that works real quick. Turn the lights back on. So this remote control controls this controller right here. And if you're interested, I'll put some links below. And then that goes to this guy right here, which I've pretty much custom remade, although the glue's coming off there. I gotta glue it back on. So the two outer strips are the RGB, and then the two inner strips are actual UV. And that goes on for a couple hours each night. Uh, just to help clean the tank up a bit and I have not treated for algae in forever and it just does such a great job uh, keeping it clean. The only problem that I have is that the tiger barbs are destroying every plant that I have but they seem to be doing much better with the Amazon swords. Next over here is my betta, one of them, on um, 10 gallon. That's Blue. Blue is a very smart boy uh, who knows tricks. Like basically he'll come up, he'll follow this, although right now I guess he's trying to fight the quarries for their little beta one. Blue, come here. Oh, he's got it. He said, nope, that's fine. Come here, Blue. Blue, come here. Come on. So maybe he'll come up. Now that I'm doing it on video, he's he's getting out. There he is, there he is. Come here, Blue. There you go. So he knows. Uh, and then this one again, all real as well. This is actually, I love this tank because I it always tests perfect even without a water change. I got a lot of these little pond snails that are um, breeding like crazy, but whatever. They're helping eat the algae, it looks like, so I'm going to keep them there. Uh, you can see them all over the tank. But, I mean, look how clean that is. I'm in love with it. And then there's Dragon's Tank, which is a little dirty on the outside. I got to clean it a little bit more. Dragon's my other beta right there. He's learning tricks, too. And, again, all real plants. This has really taken over the aquarium, but I'm okay with that uh, simply because... If you look, it really helps baffle, and that's what these are for too, is just to baffle the water flow so there's as little water movement in there as possible. Each of the, uh, what's it called, beta tanks have three quarry catfish in them, the quarry doras, and I did have a couple aquatic um, crabs. I had the Thai micro crabs, but they disappeared. So, and I also have pom-pom crabs, they disappeared too, so yeah. Um, and then you can see here, there's all the water control units. The pump goes to this guy, one over here, and another breather that's underneath. And then, because I really wanted to keep these bubbles at minimum, uh, there is the bigger pump right there. It's going to a, one of the distribution units, one over here and one over there. And that's worked out pretty well. So in a nutshell, that's my tank. Hopefully when my wife uh, isn't looking, I can add one more. So, thanks for watching.